Hello, my sumo peeps and my YouTube and Facebook peeps too. Um, I've had several requests from people asking me how to make clouds in sumo. I generally tend to make them in Photoshop because I have, right? I've actually got a ton of them built already, so um, I import them over generally. So yes, for those who call me a cheater because I use Photoshop in conjunction, I am a cheater. But you can do these things within sumo, so don't count yourself out if you don't have Photoshop. Um, this is simple. I'm going to make a new image. Um, it's not as photorealistic as some of them because within Photoshop you can actually take a picture of clouds and make a brush out of it. Um, but uh, we can uh, make things that will suffice just fine within Sumo. So first of all, just start with a, a new layer, a new image. We're going to paint our first layer black and we're going to add a second layer. And then we're going to Filters, Noise, Clouds. Ta-da! That's it. We're done. No. Um, anyway, what you want to do is uh, take this layer and put it in screen mode, which will eliminate any blacks from that. So you see, if I turn off that, you don't see anything. Um, so basically all we're seeing now are these clouds that they've built. Then what we want to do, um, kind of look around for uh, clouds that you think you're going to like. We can keep redoing this clouds layer until we get something that, whoops, I just screwed up and did on the wrong layer. Um, we can keep redoing this cloud layer until we find something that looks more pleasing, not like that. Yeah, say that. And then we go to Adjustments, Curves, and we're going to take our black layers, our black part, down. And see how we're starting to get some separate clouds here? Move up here a little bit, get some brightness, and look what we've got. We've got clouds. So then what we do, push OK, and we're going to kind of isolate this center cloud. So what we want to do is take a brush. Um, I take the round brush with this very fuzzy and put it about on, oh, let's say, I'm going to even do 21. And what we want to do is kind of eliminate most of this outer stuff because the edges, flat edges on these clouds make them a little bit hard to deal with. So we're going to go ahead and eliminate as much as we can. Turn this down a little bit. We don't need it so big. Oops. Didn't mean to turn so much of it off. And it's starting to look like a pretty nice cloud. Now you can see over here, if I turn off this black layer, um, we're still just looking at that one cloud there. So then what we want to do is kind of move it, oops, move that layer to a more appropriate place. Kind of transform it, make it look a little bit more like a cloud, maybe even smush it a bit. Okay, kind of see where we're going with this, I'm sure. kind of curve it a bit. I, I like to tend to, I tend to like to move these around and kind of just get them so I think it looks like a, a real cloud. Okay, I'd say that's good enough for now. And then we want to turn off the bottom layer. Our top layer here, you can kind of see, is sort of the black with the cloud in it. I want to go ahead and save that to our computer as, let's just say, cloud. Save it in a PNG format and push save. And I'll put that on my desktop. So now if I go over to my desktop, excuse me here, and you can see I already did one, but I'm going to open this up and there's our image right there. Kind of strange looking, but as long as we keep that in screen mode on a uh, Sumo, it'll look like a cloud. So let's go back to Sumo Paint, close out of this, and we'll start a new image. If I could think. I'm actually tired today. I stayed up very late last night. And let's go ahead and make a little bit of a scene. Um, choose gradient. Oh, let's do green and blue. I tend to like that. And that. Now let's file, import layer from our computer, and we'll do the one we did. Looks terrible there, doesn't it? I'm going to go ahead and erase some of this extraneous stuff that we just don't need. Which I shouldn't bore you with this because once we put it on screen mode, we're not going to see any of that. So let's go ahead and do that. Ta-da! What's that look like? <laughs> Does it look like a cloud? So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. Free transform. And let's put regular transform. Go ahead and shrink it. Turn it, kind of leave it there. Looks good. 
like the reforming cloud. So let's take duplicate that layer again. Free transform. Yeah, smush it. Then grow it. Turn it a bit. Then grow it. We're just kind of playing with it. Um, trying to make it a double sky, I guess. And let's go filters. Distort twirl. Okay. And then we want to free transform it again. And kind of turn it. Now, this is all personal preference. This is just what I'm seeing, what I think looks good. So we'll go ahead and move that there. And there we go. So we got kind of a nice little cloud patch in the sky. Um, you can really add to this and layer it and kind of billow it, make some layers a little darker. Like I could take um, this layer here, adjustments, human saturation, and just bring down the opacity a bit. So you can kind of play with it. And if you bring it up too much, you're going to see that black. But okay, so there's that. So now we have a nice little cloudy sky. We can go ahead and merge these layers down if we want. And how about we even duplicate that layer? And mess it up some more. Okay. How's that kind of? Let's go ahead and uh, add a new layer. Use our brush, switch over to white. Let's go ahead and use a little bit less fuzzy brush. Bump up our flow to 100% of our size to full and we'll go ahead and make a sun here how's that and of course the sun should have been over there because of the way the uh, gradient works but who cares um, layer layer effects outer glow go ahead and bump her all the way up inner glow bump her all the way up and you know i'm sure most of you know that you can change the color of your glow and whatnot so you can really customize your picture but we're just we're just putting together a pretty little picture here filters blur gaussian blur Let's bump that up some. Okay. And we're going to move that layer down. Put the clouds just slightly on top of it. Move it over a bit just to see. Okay. And then uh, let's just for fun add a reflection to the sun. 3D effects reflection. It's going to turn out way too long, but that's okay. Again, maybe not. I'm going to be aiming this correctly, but oh well. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, adjust this color. Deepen it, adjustments, hue and saturation. Deepen the color a bit. Eh, maybe not too much. Actually, let's colorize it. There we go. That looks a little bit more natural to me. And you can go ahead and add on to it and do whatever you want, but you can kind of see where, where we went. And for some reason, sumo paint's kind of screwing up here, but... I don't know if you guys have noticed, but sumo paint screws up a lot. It has something to do with the, the flash, and of course I have a Mac, which nothing um, flash seems to work that great on a Mac, but here you go. So you have kind of like a nice ocean look. You add a, a foreground and a background to this and uh, really jazz it up. So just so you know, that's how you make clouds in Sumo if you don't have Photoshop. Thanks. Have a good day.